Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to do, be a get ready with me using mainly M Cosmetics products. The owner of M Cosmetics is Michelle Wang. She also has a YouTube channel and I love M Cosmetics. I've been using them for a while now, for a couple of years. Now, I've never done a video um, using their products, at least not most of their products. But so I wanted to do that today. I want to show you I got a new palette from them and this is called Divine Skies and this is in the shade Da Vinci, I think. Yes. And this is what it looks like. I have another one that is an older palette. This is gorgeous. And um I want to go ahead and use all the products I have from them. I have the I have a foundation, a bronzer, uh have blushes and the eyeshadows and then anything else that i'm missing i'm pulling from other brands so this is a woman-owned brand which march is the uh the month that we celebrate women empower women help each other out support each other not compete life isn't doesn't have to be a competition all the time so um i'm going to use the primer by one size patrick star i really like that primer is um it's very blurring and you don't need a lot so I'm just gonna use this much and I'm going to put my hair back and I have a mirror on my table because my camera for some reason and on the video that I just posted the the collab with my uh, southern besties it kept going out of focus I don't know what the problem is with this camera because it's never done that before but um, it's very frustrating and it keeps getting disconnected to my tablet so that's why i didn't even notice that i was out of focus so we're going to try to do this without uh any kind of problems we'll see what we can do at least i know i'm recording but right now i got disconnected from my tablet again so anyway just mainly put um most of it on my cheeks my my chin my nose and a little bit right here in the center of my neck my neck yes this is my neck um good start to the to the uh video so the foundation that they have is a cushion foundation and when you get this it comes in this box right here and it does have a refill so it comes with two of the um, the cushion foundations. It also comes with this little applicator, but I prefer to use a brush to put it on. So let me find myself. I'm going to use this br brush right here, and I have a hair. Okay, so if I'm looking down, I'm looking in the mirror. Let me move you guys up a little. So you can see what I'm doing a little better. Oh, that's a little too much, I think. Oh, that's better. But if I'm looking down, it's because I'm looking in the mirror down here, but I think it's better than it going blurry. Um, I need to ask my husband to look at it sometimes. If I have it, I still on the table, I haven't put it away and somebody comes to visit. They always, for some reason, seem to be interested in my camera. And um, yeah, they mess with it, so. I wonder if it's too low because I don't want it to disappear from the screen either. So, this is a light coverage foundation. I would say this would be like, um, let me see if I can put a little box or something underneath my mirror because it looks like it's a little low. Maybe that's better. I don't have to scooch down to see. So anyways, um, it's more like a light coverage, um, light to medium light. Now I'm not getting a lot of my brush when I go a dip in there. So I'd rather just add than put too much at one time. And I have this in the shade light, gentle light. I get so confused when I go to, um, order foundations because I can be light I can be medium light it all depends some foundations have like several of the lights you know like light one light two light three and it's so hard for me to decide okay which one am I so 
but I always rather go on the light side because I can fix that better than if I go too dark. So, and I'm, even in the summer, I really don't tan because I use a lot of sunscreen all the time. So it's not like I have to have like a summer shade and a winter shade. I pretty much stay, stay pale all the time. All right, so this is it for the foundation. So we're gonna put this away and it does have a mirror and then the little cushion goes there. It's pretty simple packaging, but it's got their emblem in the middle and that's very, very pretty. Okay, for concealer today, they don't have a concealer, so I'm gonna use my Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I haven't used this in a while and I really like this concealer. So while I'm doing this, I'm going to give you a little update on my pour back. I have been, that's why I haven't been posting that much. I have been in horrific pain. It's, um, it's been terrible. And um, I have never been in this much pain in my life. I can't do anything. I can't even drive. Um, I can't do anything at home. I can't even sleep in my bed. So... I've had the insurance company, what they're going to do is, I think they call it AFR. I think that, that's the right order of the initials. I know those are the three letters, but they're going to do an ablation of the nerve endings. Um, oh, I brought something to help me with. I brought the Charlotte Tilbury corrector, and I forgot. Anyway, uh, so it's, they're going to do an ablation of the nerve endings, and hopefully that will help. He said most of his patients which I'm hoping that I fall into one of those most, um, they can get six to a year at least relief. They're going to do my left side first because that's my worst side. And um, and they, they wanted me to wait until April 13th when I was there. I was in so much pain when I was there. I, I'm, I'm using a walker, guys, which there's nothing wrong with using a walker. But two months ago, I didn't need a walker. Um, you know, and it's just, I don't like feeling helpless. I don't like feeling like I can't do my own things. I feel bad for my husband because we, I mean, he already takes care of my dad. And he, he basically, you know, taking care of me too. And I just don't like that. Okay, so powder under my eyes. I'm going to use my Pat McGrath, my favorite under eye powder. I I love it. I really, really, truly do. And um, it's a little pricey, but it lasts a long time unless you break it. <laughs> but anyway, so they, they schedule me. I couldn't even get out of the chair in the doctor's office. This is with my walk. I just couldn't get up. So um, when I left there, I told the girl, he has two offices, one in Tampa, one in Brandon. And I asked her, I said, does he have anything in the other office? The one in Tampa is more convenient for me, but I'm be, I'd be willing to drive, you know, anywhere to get it done. So she said, well, the only difference with the other one, it would have been a day earlier. So I said, well, I might as well just keep the Tampa appointment. Okay, so for my powder, I'm going to be using my Huda powder. I haven't used it in a long time. Um, it's a nice powder. So just a little bit. This foundation really doesn't, it's not that's sticky so it doesn't require like a lot of powder to set it but um i just like to set it to make sure that i don't have a lot of oils coming through so anyway i went home and i was in the car with my husband i was crying i kept telling him i said i can't do this i can't be another 30 days in this pain this is ridiculous this is it's almost inhumane i mean this is like i would compare it to having labor pains constant you know it doesn't go away and then sometimes if i turn the wrong way i get like this electric shock that goes from my back all the way down my legs it's, it's horrible so um i have to sleep on my recliner i can't sleep on my bed and then even that i hardly sleep i may get two to three hours sleep a night because i can't sleep comfortable all right so uh, let's put the abh eye primer on my eyes so anyways um and my son is getting married he got married here. He had, um, you know, by uh, Justice of the Peace in November. But um, his wife 
is from Colombia. Her family's in Colombia, her parents and her sister and niece and brother. So she wants to have a church wedding in Colombia, and that's in June. And I'm looking forward to going to it. Colombia looks beautiful. My son has gone multiple times, and he loves it there. And, um, you know, he showed me, I think, that a place where we were going to stay. He's trying to rent, like, a humongous. You can get, like, a mansion there for, like, nothing rented. You know, very, very inexpensive. So um, we're all excited. My daughter's going to go, my grandkids. Except for my eldest grandchild, because he's uh, going to fire the fire academy, and he's still in school, um, so he's not going to be going. But the rest of me, my um, other four grandchildren are going. So uh, it's exciting. We've never been on a family vacation like that since you know they each made their own lives or whatever. You know, since they got married. I'm going to use a little bit of the Pat McGrath on my eyelids. Just to set the concealer. <clears throat> I'm sorry, the primer. But if I'm feeling the way I'm feeling now, I can't go. There's no way that I can go. There is no way that I can, even if I rent a wheelchair, the pain that I'm in is unbearable. There's no way I can make a trip like that. And then, you know, I'm, I'm going to be like a bump on a log, right? Not being able to do anything. So, anyway, I sent, I still got in the morning. Um, you know, and I was sitting there and I was like, couldn't sleep because of the pain. I can't open this palette. Come on, you're not hard to open. Why can't I open you now? What the heck? And, um, <laughs> I just showed it to you guys. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I'm going to start with this color. Whoops. See what I mean about this silly camera with this color right here. Um, on my crease so anyway I couldn't sleep so I went ahead and I went online um, and um, this is a rougher brush and that my doctor has a like a website that you can go into if you have questions or concerns or whatever instead of calling the office and I wrote them a long note basically begging them is there anything that you can do beforehand I can't do this I can't do this for another month and um, you know, I told him, I said, I'll go to whichever facility, I'll go whatever time, you know, anything, please, you know. So anyway, at 8.30 the next morning, the secretary called that he squeezed me in on the March 30th. I guess he was booked, but he's going to take me as a last patient at 4.30 so that I can get it done. And I'm like, thank you so, so much. Because I was telling I was crying. I said, I can't do it. I said, I've never, I have very high tolerance for pain. I'm not a wimp, but I can't do this anymore. Oh my goodness. Constant, it's constant. It never goes away. So anyways, so much for that. I don't want to keep talking about that. Um, there's nothing new going on here. Same old boring, boring stuff. Is there anything exciting going on in your life? We have a uh, an awesome collab tomorrow that is going to um, is going to come up, and I can't wait. I'm going to use this one here, and they don't have colors. Uh, they do have colors, but I can't tell what the colors are. When they have them backwards like that, I can't do it. But this is very pretty. I think if you like neutrals, if you like, I mean, they're very pigmented. So it's not like, you know, you're not going to get color payout. Um, so if you like, you know, something that's, um, you can either build up or you can make a very nice, I'm going to take the darker brown now, same brush. And, uh, you just want to make a quick you know one or two shadows and out the door this is your palette if you want to build it up a little more you know you can do that too and you really don't get any fallout okay i'm going to take this pencil brush and take the darker brown and just go under my lash line A 
don't want to be hiding from you guys. I'm going to be doing editing and all you're going to be seeing is the top of my head. <laughs> Can't win. Yeah, I have to figure out what's wrong because I used to be able to use a mirror and it wouldn't focus. Once in a while it would, but not constantly like it does now. All right, so now I'm going to take this beautiful color right here and use it on my um, on my lid. Look at that. That is so pretty. I'm going to use my finger, see if I can get a little more out of it. Mm-hmm. Pretty. That's very pretty. And where's my brush with the brown? There's no additional product on the on the brush. This is the one that I was using with the with the shiny one. I just want to kind of make it even over here. Put a little more right here on the outer. That's pretty. So this is a Da Vinci. There's two of them. This is a darker one. The other one is also beautiful, but the shades are um, a little lighter. Uh, the ones for this uh, release. She has other ones. Okay. So I think that's all I'm going to do to... Um, to my eyes so I have a blush this one is Venetian Rose which is beautiful it's very very pretty and I'm also going to show you the um, I have another brush blush this one is um, Rococo this one was released with this palette and this is gorgeous also very pretty and they do like a they do have like a little bit of um glow to them but they're not um glittery or anything like that then they have their liquid sh uh, shadows and i have several i have venetian rose i have sunset sky which is like a peach And this one is Soft Amethyst. And this one is Rose Milk. So I think I'm going to use a Venetian Rose. Now, I have a hard time with the, with the, uh, with the dropper. Okay, the dropper doesn't really work. So I usually just put just a little bit there and then I'm going you can use your finger or you can use stippling brush I'm going to use my finger see it doesn't you don't get much because of, I hate droppers I'd rather just have like a little doe foot because the droppers 99% of the time do not work it doesn't matter which product you're using it just doesn't work I think I put that one a little too high. Let's move it down a little. But these are very pretty. They're very soft. Very pretty. I forgot to put the uh, bronzer on. I'll do it now. I have a bronzer from them that is beautiful. And so easy to apply. Oh my goodness. I keep having hair sticking to it. They don't stay sticky but um they're not totally dry yet so okay this is their bronzer and it's a cream bronzer also and it's beautiful so i'm gonna put just put a little bit there a little bit there and i'm gonna take this brush and just kind of like 
I think I'm missing um yeah I need a little more blush there I'm kind of it's a spot that's missing see it it just this is so easy to blend so pretty let me take a little bit of like right there I'm missing blush that's better now if you want to and I normally don't but I'm going to put a little bit on so you guys can see what it looks like a little bit of the uh, Rococo I think I'm going to use this one right here and I'm going to use this I'm going to use this brush I'm just going to put just a tiny bit oh boy not a good idea oh you guys can see my blush today can't you <laughs> okay Huda I need you let's just try to cover that up a little I got, I got a little carried away with my blush they're beautiful though they really are and now they also have blush sticks which I think I don't have any of those yet but I think I would prefer the blush sticks than the liquid blush just because uh, to me they're easier to apply but i mean normally just because i topped it with the with the powder blush but normally they're not it's not um that uh they're not that pigmented you it's hard to get carried away this is the highlighter by merit i, I love this highlighter this has become my favorite highlighter because it is so stinking easy to put on oh my goodness so natural so pretty very pretty I like that oh my gosh I know when I do edit I'm gonna see I'm not gonna be able to see my face it's gonna be hiding the whole time okay maybe doing all this work and I won't be up putting up the video because it all depends what I get out of it uh, the Huda brow I love this stuff this has been like my go-to lately and not necessarily the Huda but I mean just uh, brow gel it's like a so fast easy you know you don't have to mess with your brows too much <laughs> stop attacking me here okay now for mascara I can't wait I haven't used it yet the new Mac mascara and this is the one that everybody's raving about everybody that I see uh, using um, it looks beautiful this is the mega one and is the stack mascara so I can't wait to see what it's gonna look like and let me show you the brush this is the brush and yeah I can't wait to see what we get out of this mascara Okay, so this is one coat on one eye. It's called stack mascara because you're supposed to be able to stack it and not get clumpy, no smudging, no flaking. I'm also going to put some on my lower lashes and in the description box I'll let you know if it's mudged. It's kind of a wet formula but it's not a big brush so it should be pretty easy to use and I think they look nice. All right so I'm going to do my lips before I try to remove my mess. Alright, so for lips, I'm wearing 
and then cosmetics and this is um this is like a cream and this is in moroccan sunset and this is the charlotte tilbury lippy and lip cheek and walk of no shame and these lipsticks are very comfortable and um they don't dry down it's not a liquid lip but they're very comfortable and they do last a while they don't feel um heavy or sticky or anything like that i think that's a very pretty color all right so now the only thing that i have to do i want to use a um finishing powder and i'm using my uh milani prep set and glow and it's just to finish everything off i'm looking in the mirror i can't see anything oh i forgot to take this off see i don't have a spoolie so let me see what i can use let me see if i can do it with this oh, oh i guess it wasn't totally dry was it I'm going to use the tip of the sponge. Oh, I'm not fixing that, am I? Okay, let me try concealer. Where is my concealer? Here it is. Just a tiny bit. I always bring a spoolie because, I mean, many, many times I uh, get mascara on my face. If you hear anybody coughing in the background, that's my dad. I hope he's not getting a cold. He has had like a little cough um, all morning. Okay, let me find the Merit and fix this here okay so this is it oh I didn't finish with I'm all over the place aren't I okay just a little bit this just gives us such a pretty finish let me scoot you back all right so this is my finished look with the um, and cosmetics. It is a very pretty palette, and the other one is also. I can't. Remember, the other one I think is called Rodin, and this one is Da Vinci, and it's just beautiful. And then I do have another one, but I guess I didn't bring it with me. Oh, you know what? I do have. A, I have the Chantecaille that I'm going to spray a little bit on my uh, brush, and just kind of like set my face but I do love their products they really are nice they, this eyeshadow will last all day it's not going to go anywhere it's going to look just as beautiful at the end of the day as it does now um, the mascara I have to let you know how it works I like the mascara and I think it's going to be a lot better once it's been open for about a week but I mean, I'm happy with even the first time using it. So yeah, so uh, this is, I like, I love this, this product. They're pricey. If you subscribe to their um, emails, once in a while they do have like 15% or 20% sale. They just had one. I didn't buy anything because this is the last thing that I purchased. And I had subscribed to their email, something they gave me 15% off for, um, I bought both of these things. The palette and the uh, Rococo um, these go together and then the other two there's another palette and there's another um, blush that are a little lighter and then I believe there's also some lip products so but I really do enjoy using the brand and these here if you guys have um, 
if you have boxycharm you can get they put these on their add-ons uh, or their sales because I, I purchased two of them on their website. I purchased two from M and I purchased two of them from um, BoxyCharm. So that's the only product that I saw that they had from M Cosmetics, but still it's a lot. I think they were like $12 on BoxyCharm, which is a lot less expensive. I believe those may be $28. All right, guys, so I hope that you enjoyed this video. I love you and I will see you on my next one. Bye. Mwah.